View this lecture after reading Chapter 4, Editing, in Understanding Movies. Review the film grammar sheet in the module on D2L to aid in the note-taking process. Watch the videos in the Editing 2 Supplemental Playlist to enhance the lecture. Last week in Editing 1, we covered the evolution of editing as a language in film, the styles of classical cutting and continuity editing, and techniques and rules employed to keep continuity. Editing 2 covers Russian montage editing, film as propaganda, rule-breaking editing, and discontinuity and MTV editing. The Russians, montage editing. The first film school ever was in Moscow, opening in 1919. In the school, they used film as propaganda. The editing style used was in direct opposition to Hollywood's classical cutting. The Soviets believed that the power was in the juxtaposition and that the cuts could call attention to themselves. They believed the meaning was made in the edit. Russian director Lev Kulshov in the 1920s, founder of the world's first film school, he experimented with juxtaposition and conducted the now famous Kulshov experiment. The hypothesis of the Kulshov experiment proposed that the meaning was made through the edit. Shots cut together to create ideas not contained in either shot on its own. And this becomes the foundation for Soviet montage editing. The theory of montage editing evolves during the silent era. The theory of montage editing is formalistic. The theory of montage editing takes unrelated images and joins them to create a third and higher meaning. Recreating the Kulshov experiment. Shot A stays the same. The shot that follows it changes the response to shot A. Shot A is an image of a man with a neutral expression on his face. Juxtapose that with shot B, distraught people at a funeral. Within this experiment, the meaning is made in the edit. So joining shot A with shot B creates the third and higher meaning that the man is sad. Again, return to shot A, man with a neutral expression on his face. Juxtapose that with shot C, a table full of food. So in this instance, joining shot A with shot C creates the emotional response in the audience that the man looks hungry. Once again, the image of the man with the neutral expression on his face, juxtaposed next to shot D, a beautiful woman. Using Lev Kulshov's hypothesis that the meaning was made in the edit, shot A plus shot D equals the expression that the man is emoting as love. Another very important name in this era is Sergei Eisenstein, who was a contemporary of Kulshov's. He was a film director and a film theorist and a pioneer in montage editing. His most two well-known films are Strike and The Battleship Potemkin. And in these films, he uses montage editing to have shots collide to make meaning. He's often fragmenting time and space. The montage calls attention to itself, 
unlike continuity editing. It's all about the contrast and the conflict of images. When you rewatch Totsi after this week's lecture, pay special attention to the first flashback sequence because it uses montage style editing. Shot A is a shot of Totsi joined with shot B, a little boy. It's used to create the idea of little Totsi. This sequence also uses discontinuity and MTV editing discussed later in the lecture. It does not use continuity editing. This is the first flashback sequence in Totsi when he runs out into the rain and montage editing is used here to join shot A, Totsi, with shot B, a little boy, to create the third and higher meaning of little Totsi. Film as propaganda used by the Soviets in the 1920s. The Nazi propaganda documentary Triumph of the Will, directed by Laney Riefenstahl in 1935, uses editing to make Hitler look like a god. The U.S. government employs Hollywood directors like Frank Capra to make a series of newsreels called Why We Fight to rally support for entering World War II. Images on the left from Triumph of the Will and Why We Fight on the right. Rule Breakers, the French New Wave or La Nouvelle Vague in French. The French New Wave directors were a group of film critics who decided to try their hand at directing. French New Wave appeared in the late 1950s and 1960s. Notable directors of the style include Jean-Luc Godard, Francois Truffaut, and Agnès Varda. Discontinuity Editing Godard's first feature film, Breathless, released in 1960, is noticeable for its purposeful use of jump cuts and violating the rules of continuity editing. Hollywood takes notice of this rule-breaking editing style. Breathless, 1960. The influence of French New Wave films like Breathless are seen in American films in the late 1960s and beyond. Dee Dee Allen, editor of Bonnie and Clyde, pioneer of editing in Hollywood. She also broke the rules of classical cutting and continuity editing. The American New Wave, 1967. Filmmakers reject the established rules and conventions of classical cutting. The pace of films increase, as does the use of montage and discontinuity editing. Films that mark a turning point in Hollywood. Easy Rider, Bonnie and Clyde, and The Graduate. Post-classical cutting, also known as MTV editing. The appearance of MTV in 1981 marks a turning point in the pace and tempo of media. Digital editing technology enables fast cutting. The rise of the blockbuster in Hollywood drives this new pace of editing forward. Faster and faster, MTV style of editing consisting of quick cuts, shots lasting a split second, disjointed action, MTV style editing breaks the rules of continuity, the 80 degree and the 30 degree rule. Examples of post-classical cutting or MTV editing, The Born Identity, The Hurt Locker, Black Hawk Down, and Top Gun. Today, films still use the tried and true techniques and rules of continuity editing. However, narrative pacing is faster and cuts come quicker than they did in the 1940s and 1950s. 
Editing was born over a hundred years ago. Editing is such an important part of a film's narrative today. Editing continues to evolve with film technology. Please watch Totsi again after finishing this lecture before you submit your paper. You are going to choose one of these two questions. Question one really pertains to, or can pertain to, a lot of what we covered this week, especially if you take a look at the first flashback sequence. How is editing used to inform the viewer about Tatsi's childhood? Question two really pertains to editing one. How is continuity editing used in Tatsi? Be specific and use editing grammar to support your claim. Films featured in this lecture. Students are encouraged to explore these films. You can pull the PDF version of this lecture up on D2L to take a closer look. I thank you so much for watching and until next time, have a productive week.